Welcome to How to Build a Chicken Coop. My name is Michelle, and my fiance Russell is the head engineer. We decided that we would build one decent enough size for at least six chickens because of the laws around where we live. And maybe we'll have more next year, depending on how this year goes. So we started out with laying two by fours out on the ground, eight feet by six feet. And then we made a coop area, five feet by about four feet or so with a piece of plywood. And then the next level was the actual level of the coop. We placed two by fours as if we were building a house, made sill plates, and then built on top of those. And then we took two by fours at an angle for roof support. We made a special door to open and close for the coop so that it would be secure at night and nothing could open it but easy enough to slide it open and let them hop out during the day. You can see the roof is made out of two sheets of plywood with a piece of foam Tyvek insulation in between. And that's recommended just because in the winter months here in New York, it's amazingly cold usually January, February, and they'll need their body heat to uh, stay inside the coop. We're installing a window for better ventilation in the summer months, and we're gonna install it just like you would in a house. We'll have the supports around the outside and the header also. The key thing is you want really good ventilation throughout the coop because moisture is their enemy. So you want it to stay nice and dry in the coop. So dry because you have a solid roof on top and dry because um, they can get parasites, they can get sick and have all sorts of problems. So you wanna make sure everything stays dry so here we are putting on the outside covering. It's a little fancy, instead of just plain plywood, we decided to get this rough uh, siding. It's sold like a four by eight piece of sheeting plywood. Um, we just cut it to look nice and vertical. Always make sure you're using your level with everything. Otherwise, one little thing's off and you'll be able to see it. So you can see the doors made by uh, a frame of one by threes, just to keep it lighter than the uh, two by fours. And you can see here that we completely finished the outside siding and we installed the window and everything is buttoned up on the coop and we also designed it so that it comes apart in three parts the roof is one part the coop is another part and then the bottom layer is another part we obviously aren't gonna leave it in our carport for the chickens to live there we're gonna put it out on stilts out in the yard off the, the back deck. So it'll be easier to carry if we have it in three parts. So nothing like a good coat of stain to preserve your wood. Plus it looks cute, right? And you can see inside we have some roosting places for them when they get older. You'll see that this, uh, outside the coop area, there's a roof that extends over to keep them dry when they're outside hanging out outside the coop. So here we are getting ready to install 
each of the sections of the chicken house. So here's the roof, ready to go. We have our stilts. We put our two by four floor block, attached it to the side of the deck with some skim two by fours. Made sure it was level. And we made sure that our posts are level. We use this two by four to hold the six by six timbers in place while we're mounting everything together with screws. And here we have a block that holds the two by four section in place while we're trying to screw everything together and keep it level and square at the same time. So you can see here where we've attached it to the deck. And now we place the coop on top of the two by four platform. And we place the roof on top of the coop. There were three of us that uh, were able to do this. Pretty decent, a uh, little bit of a struggle, but got it in place. And now we're putting two by fours up for chicken wire to enclose them so they have outdoor play area. And uh, during the nice days, and summertime, we're going to have a door that we'll leave open so that they can hop out of the entire chicken house area and enjoy bugs and grass and butterflies and anything else they like to get into. So you can see underneath everything we've placed two by fours and under those two by fours we used real chicken wire. And that's to keep raccoons, rabbits, fishers, groundhogs, anything that can dig pretty easily to dig underneath the two by four and they won't be able to get any further than the chicken wire that's over the grass. So we layered it with uh, two by fours. And once again, we used like a sill plate design where we did balloon construction and put the two by fours straight up and we followed the roof line. So on one end, they're just about 10 feet off the ground, the end of the roof and the back side of the roof is about seven feet or so. And here we put a door in these cute little feeders we made out of three inch PVC pipe put caps on it and use the Y at the bottom and another cap. Drilled some holes so that there's good drainage in case some moisture gets in there and their food won't get moldy. And there, there is everybody. Say hi, everybody. We ended up with two boys and four girls. <laughs> That's what you get in tractor supply. And I installed a cute little bird feeder so that they have their baby food in there. And I hung a chain from one of the roof rafters so that we can put water in there. They have to have fresh water 24 seven. That is so important. And then of course the all important heat lamp for the cold nights. And then when we get to the winter months, we'll have that on 24 seven. You'll see here, we made a little threshold to keep the chips inside the coop so they won't be kicking them out when they go in and out of the coop. And then outside the coop, we have a nice little ramp for them and some things, some slats for them so that when they go across, they don't slip down the ramp. Although um, we have some meat chickens and they slide everywhere. <laughs> the egg layers, they, they have it down. They can walk around, get down the ramp quite easily. There's a little swing 
I installed so that they have some fun playtime. I found that chickens like to play a lot. They're always very curious. Notice how they knocked over their little feeder in there and they were knocking around the plastic bottle that holds the extra food, so. They're getting used to walking around on the planks here and uh, enjoying the sunlight. Right above them, we had a little extra piece of plastic roofing. So after we finished the, the main roof, we put a little piece of plastic over their food area so that it'll keep it dry as well as keep them dry when they're feeding when they're outside the coop area and, and the main chicken house play area. So now that it's uh, finished up, I'm gonna finish staining it. Make sure we preserve that wood. This area over here, I decided to put a piece of plywood instead of the, the half inch mesh um, so they'd have more shade underneath because they originally would just have shade from the coop itself and I felt that wasn't enough. I also put the half inch mesh over the outside of the screen part of the window and I also put it on the inside to deter any raccoons from trying to reach in there and kill them at night so they're protected. Hope you enjoyed this. Good luck with building your coop.